What's up guys? Welcome to this week's cash envelope stuffing video. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Brianna. I am 30 years old. I live in Texas. I work as an office manager at an air conditioning company. Also, I live in a one bedroom apartment with my boyfriend, my dog and his cat, and we are currently saving up for our first house. So that's just a little bit of a background about me in case you are new. And if you're not new, welcome back. Today I have budgeted $440 to go across all of my envelopes, so let's go ahead and get started. Car care is going to be getting $10. This is just for anything car maintenance related, of course. So let's see how much we have in here. We have $500 in my savings account. I use Ally online. It's a high yield savings account and I keep my money in there to earn interest and just to stay safe, of course. So we have $500 in there. 20, 40, 60, 80, 600, 10, 20, 30, and 35. So 635 total in my car maintenance envelope. I'm thinking about moving that $100 over to my savings account because I am not due for an, an oil change or any sort of maintenance for a while. So I think it might be safe for me to move that money over, but I'm still pondering on it. I think I said that last week and obviously I haven't moved it yet. So We'll see about that. Next up is food and it's gonna be getting 60 and I do have money left over from last week. I've been doing really good on my food budget and I'm so proud of myself. So we're at 20, 40, 60, 80, 105 in food and this coming weekend, we are gonna be doing our monthly Sam's trip. So I'm gonna be contributing 105. I'm not gonna put more than that. So we should be able to get a pretty good haul if we both contribute around $100. Next up is fun and I am putting $10 in here. Next week is the concert that I'm going to, so that'll be fun. And this is just spending money. The ticket's already paid for, so this is just for food, gas if I need to get gas on our way to and from there. And then, you know, if I wanna buy like a shirt or something, I don't know, we'll see. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 110, 20, 30, and 35. So 135 total. Okay, I'm not putting anything in my wallet spending category because there's nothing I really need to spend money on right now. So we are gonna move over to our sinking funds. If anyone is curious, my envelopes are from Lily Budgets, linked below. My trackers are from Sav Saves who is also linked below. They both have Instagrams, YouTubes, and Etsy's. So check them out if you're in the market for some new products. And my place, I have some placeholders from Taylor from A Little Of It All. I'll tag her down below as well. I'll show you which ones are from her whenever I get to them. Brianna is gonna be getting $5. And this is just kind of like a little spending category for me. So we have $15 in there now. It's not for anything specific, just if I see something I want to buy, it comes out of there. Next up is Brianna Budgets, and this is just for anything I want to buy for my YouTube channel or from someone's Etsy or anything like that, and it's getting five as well. So we have five, 10, 15, and 20. I hope everyone is having a good week so far. I am. I've, I don't know, I feel like I'm kind of just coasting along. Nothing really exciting is happening. Just working, budgeting, sticking to the plan, and just, you know, going along daily life. I don't really have any fun updates or anything for you guys. All right, Miss Candy, she is gonna be getting $10, and her fund is looking really good. I might, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Let me see how much is in here. So we have 500 in the bank, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 600, 5, and 10. So 610. Oh my goodness. She is rich. You're just getting pet. You know, I act like it's just so bad. She does need some more food though. So that'll go down this week, most likely, or next. I don't know. But 610. That is so good. And she just does not even know that she's the richest person in this family. Next up is Christmas and it gets $20 every single week leading up to the holiday. If you haven't started saving for Christmas, I would highly consider doing so because it'll help so much. All right, about the print trackers. These little leaf ones are from Lily Budget and, and this cool retro looking one is from Sav Saves. 
in case you are interested. So we have 100, 200, $300 in my Christmas bank account and then 40. So a total of 340. It's so much better to save up slowly over time than to wait till a month before Christmas and start panicking. So just a fair warning, I would start saving now if you haven't yet. Alrighty, clothing is completely empty. Oh no, my words kind of rubbed off. I don't even know if you can see that, but we are gonna be putting $10 in there and I don't have any more tens. That's cool. Well, we'll have to come back to that one. Let's not forget to go back to clothing. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Gifts is getting 20. I am saving up money for birthday presents for my sister and my nephew. And then I also realized Mother's Day is next month too. So I now have to start saving for that as well. So we have 20, 40, 60, and 80 in gifts. I might need to start bumping that one up because three gifts in one month, that's, that could add up. All right, health is also getting 10. Let's see if I have any 10s in here to trade out. Oh no, of course not, why would I? <laughs> um, let me put these fives down and then grab a 20. So we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 20, 40. 400 is in the bank and then 40 in cash in the envelope. I do like to keep a little miniature $500 health emergency fund in my savings account, but I had to spend some of it. So I'm trying to get back to 500. So we're not too far away now. Alrighty, home is getting 10, of course, and I don't have any 10s. So let's put these five down and grab a 20. So we have 25 in home. I feel like this orange, I just can't get rid of this orange 20. It's been in my last three videos, so I don't know. This fun fact about me, if you didn't know, and whenever I, let's say, I feel like I just recently explained this, but you might be new here, so just a fun fact. Let's say I spend $20 out of home. I take that $20 out, and instead of depositing it into my bank account, I keep it in a little envelope in my wallet to use for my next cash stuffing. So if you see bills like this that you are like, why do you keep having the same bill over and over again? That's why. There's very few times I actually put money back into the bank. I just recycle it for my next cash stuffing just because it's easier and it's less steps. And it just makes sense to me since I do cash stuff every week. Self-care is getting you guessed it, $10. I budgeted a lot of 10s and didn't give myself a lot of $10 bills, so we can just use fives. And my hair appointment is next week as well. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 125, and 130 there. And that's just enough for my hair appointment. So I thought I was ahead. I obviously spent some of it. I can't, I guess on the 13th. Oh, I had to buy an eyebrow pencil. That's right. Yeah, so that's okay. We're st we still have the perfect amount, so no worries there. And then taxes is getting 40. I am saving up $800 for my property taxes. And then when October comes around and I get my statement, if it ends up being more, I can just save up more. But once I hit 800, I'm stopping it. So we have 500, 600, 700 in my savings account, 20, 40, and 60. So 760 and we are 40 away from our goal, which is very exciting because that means I can start putting that $40 elsewhere. All right, next up is travel and we are putting $20 in there. I don't have any plans to go anywhere, but that could change. So I'm just saving up just in case. So we have 100, 200 in the bank, 20 and 40. So 240 total in travel. I would like to go somewhere because I'm always wanting to go somewhere, but I'm just seeing how this year plays out because you never really know. So I don't want to get my hopes up and then miss out. So I do owe clothing 10. So I'm just going to use these two fives just because that's what I have. And that is that for sinking funds. I need to rewrite that because it's, it got rubbed off. I guess I didn't let it dry good enough before closing the binder. And then let's move over to my new home binder. This is a binder that I have for my future house. 
I don't have an update on that. Actually, I guess I kind of do have an update. The update is not a good one. It's just that I have come to terms with the fact that 2023 is not going to be the year I build my house because it's just too expensive. The mortgage would just be too high. I don't have enough money saved up and I don't want to get myself, I don't want to bite off more than I can chew, I guess is a good way to say it. So instead of rushing into it because I'm excited and ready, I'm not actually ready. In my head, I'm ready, but financially, I'm just not. And I have come to terms with that. And I'm not even sad about it because, you know, I obviously, that just gives me more time to keep saving more money. So that's what I'm doing. And this is my future home binder. I wanted to show you that placeholder that I had for, or that I got from Taylor at a little of it all. Her Etsy's linked below. I just wanted to show you that because I showed you the other one. So I didn't want to leave that one out, but so far I have 4,000 saved up for my new home. And then this week I have budgeted $200 to our new category, which is going to be bathrooms. And I filled this one in off camera because it was, it took me kind of forever to color in these little bathtubs. So we are using prop money for this because the real money is in my bank because I don't know when I'm going to be using this money. So there's no point in having it chilling in the envelope when it can be earning interest. So bathrooms is already halfway saved up for. So the goal is 400 and we are adding 200. So next week we should be done with that one, which is obviously super exciting. And in case this is your first time here or you haven't seen my new home binder yet, I will just flip through it quickly. So I have different categories for different parts of being a homeowner. I've never been a homeowner before, but these are just things that I thought, you know, that could be useful. So household essentials, outdoor equipment, appliances, savings for a lawnmower because I'll have a yard, bedding, home decor, fence fun because obviously, you know, you need a fence when you have a pet in the backyard, furniture, miscellaneous. I have different ones in here that I'm not going to go through right now. We'll cross that bridge someday repairs and then home emergency so i just wanted to show you that real quick if you are if you haven't been around you might not know what this is for so i just wanted to show you that and we are going to be working through this one over time so it'll be fun it'll take some time like kind of a lot of time but that's okay i mean what else are we going to do that's the whole point of being here is to budget and save money so that is that. That's all I have for this week. I don't have any dollars for the dollar jar, unfortunately, but hopefully next week I will. So thank you so much for being here. I appreciate all of you guys. I love you so much. I hope you have a great rest of your week and a great weekend, and I will see you guys very soon. Bye.